Hi travelers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you why you should choose a cruise to visit the South Pacific over your traditional overwater bungalow. Now, when most people think about visiting French Polynesia, Tahiti, they automatically think that they want to go uh, to stay on an overwater bungalow. So here's my reasons why you should choose a cruise over a uh, overwater bungalow, and more importantly, a cruise aboard Paul Gauguin. So, Paul Gauguin is a, a small uh, luxury ship and all the only itineraries that they do sail is within French Polynesia. They focus on seven and 14 day uh, trips and the ship is all inclusive. So this is very important with Tahiti. If you're booking a regular overwater bungalow or even a regular hotel, it's a European plan. So you're gonna be having to pay for all of your meals all of and all of your beverages. And food and beverage in Tahiti due to its location is very, very pricey. Uh, when I was there, we visited a couple of resorts uh, for the day and the drinks, uh, we had just a couple of drinks there and believe me, the bill was astronomical. We were glad to go back to the ship. So I'll share a bit of my experience aboard Paul Gauguin in this video. And again, why you should choose cruising aboard a luxury cruise line in Tahiti over staying with an overwater bungalow. Okay, my first tip. And this cruise ship, it's very small. It only holds 335 passengers when, it's, uh, when it is full. And the crew ratio on there, there's 215 crew members. So there's a very, very good crew to guest ratio, which means the service aboard the Gauguin is spectacular. You'll never uh, be far from someone that if you're looking for a drink or something to eat, there's, there's a server looking out for you at all times. Also your cabins, uh, tastefully, uh, you know, tastefully, decorated cabins. The cruise ship is a little bit older cruise ship, um, but it has been renovated recently. So the staterooms are, are great. Now on the stateroom front, the majority of the cabins on the Gauguin are veranda category cabins. There is a few larger owner suites, but again, the majority is a, ver is a veranda. They do have also window porthole suites, but if you are going and if you're traveling such a great distance, and the, the reason I say is to book a veranda suite is because it's like getting a, it's like you're staying on your own overwater bungalow. You can open the, the, the patio door, there's a chair and a table outside, you can sit outside, have a coffee, have a drink, have your breakfast or, or any meal because room service is included. And the views that you're going to see off of your veranda are spectacular. The When the cruise ship, because of its small size, it's going into smaller, uh, smaller bays of, of the various islands of Morea, Bora Bora. So it gets into places that the larger cruise ships cannot go to. And when you're coming into a port in the morning, sitting outside, it's the best view you can imagine to see. On the excursion front, I always recommend, uh, because this is a small, small ship, you're visiting small ports. There's not, there, there's a good selection of, 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 um, of excursions available through the cruise line. And I definitely recommend booking these through the cruise line. Uh, we found it very difficult to see because you're going to smaller ports. There's just not a lot of population there, obviously. So there's not a lot of, not a lot of tours available and all the best ones are already offered aboard the Gauguin. And you can book these online when you receive your tickets. You can go in beforehand and reserve your excursion. Now I recommend looking at all these before you before you go on board because you can actually reserve your spots and you don't have to pay for them until you until you actually go and there's a cancellation period when you're on board if you do wish to you know decide at the last minute not the very last minute but if there's you cancel it you're not going to be charged so it's a good way to get your your trip planned ahead of time and not have to worry about uh, coming off the ship and looking for uh, an excursion for the day and kind of wasting time that way now, in part of the excursions in uh, Tahiti, this, it's well known, obviously, for its snorkeling. And as part of the inclusion on the sh on the uh, the Gauguin, they do include a snorkel gear package, so you can save some space in your luggage. You don't have to pack your snorkel gear or flippers. Uh, what you'll do is there's a marina on board. Once you check in, you can go down to the marina. You'll give them your cabin number and they will fit uh, flippers for you. They'll fit your mask, uh, give you a snorkel and it goes in a little uh, mesh bag. So you'll actually be able to keep this for the entire trip. Uh, you can keep it in your room and you can take those on uh, snorkel excursions if you wish to go on those that are extra. But there's also on the seven day 
cruise, there is a two times you actually have a chance to go snorkeling on a private island. There's the Motu Mahana, which the Gauguin will set up a, a giant, they have a big barbecue out for the day and they're snorkeling there. They'll bring the kayaks over and there's lounge chairs all set up and you'll have a great day on this beach. The snorkeling at the private island is amazing. You, it, It's included in the price and it's something you would pay over $100 per person to visit if you were doing some other type of excursion. So I definitely recommend going on for the beach day. Most of the people on board do go do go over uh, on the boat for the, the beach day. Very, very fun, that one. There's also in Bora Bora, they have a, a small private beach area that there has some snorkeling as well, and that's also worth, worth the visit. Now, the only time I kind of recommend doing something maybe a little bit different is in Bora Bora. It's one of the larger islands that you're going to visit, and there's a bit more population of this island. It's still it's still small, um, but you can actually find uh, when you come off off the uh, off the tenders, there'll be a number of taxis there, and you can actually you typically you're going to be in Bora Bora for a couple days. Depends on the itinerary of the uh, Pogogan, uh, but you'll have time to if you wanted to to do a private taxi tour, and you can typically find a taxi tour that's quite inexpensive. They'll take you around the entire island. Uh, there's a basically a ring road that goes around the entire island. They'll do all the stops that some of the larger vans or buses will stop at, but you'll have your own private car and you can kind of take your time. We did this in Bora Bora for the second day we were there and we had a great experience ex uh, exploring the island. Our driver, she took us basically everywhere and anywhere we wanted to go on the island and she would stop along the way so we could take some pictures, uh, admire the view. She stopped at different tourist spots as well. We did a little bit of tour, a little bit of shopping at some of the little markets. That's a great uh, experience there as well. So if you're not necessarily comfortable, you can rent, you can rent little scooters or car, but if you're not comfortable with driving while you're on vacation, you can just rent a cab. It's, it's the price was, price was very reasonable uh, to tour the island that way. Okay, now how to book a Paul Gauguin cruise? Well, what I recommend, uh, being based in Canada, uh, for my Canadian viewers that are, are watching, uh, the best way for a Canadian to book aboard the Paul Gauguin is to contact me. Now we have uh, the prices you might you may see online, they're in US dollars, but there is Canadian pricing available that uh, travel as a travel agent I have access to that I can that I can uh, get from Paul Gauguin directly. And there's typically a savings for Canadian residents of you know, 10 to 20%. It kind of helps with the exchange rate. So if you are looking online for a Paul Gauguin cruise, you're gonna see prices. It's gonna look expensive for Canadians, but when you break it down and you get the Canadian pricing and also with when you consider all the inclusions that are included with this cruise over booking a vacation that is you know on land on an overwater bungalow the value is very very good now also too with the published prices of Paul Gauguin they do include airfare from Los Angeles return airfare to Papiete and LA and back and transfers now in planning a cruise though we can also look at pricing and this pricing is not displayed online we can also obtain pricing that does not have any airfare included and this can sometimes work out in your favor because we can price out other airlines uh, to Papiete there's a there is a couple of airlines that do have regular flights there so we can definitely look at the cost comparison between including the airfare and maybe maybe excluding the airfare to see if we can find you a better price. And also too with that, because we have to get you to LA to catch these flights, sometimes we can build in the full the full flight and it actually works out quite a bit, a little bit less. And also too, sometimes uh, I have found that clients, they may have points they can use for a portion of their trip and we can sometimes get uh, some savings that way as well. So I definitely recommend looking at it that way and we can, you know, save you some some money on your all-inclusive luxury cruise. Okay, those are my tips for cruising aboard the Pogo Gan. Like I said, they, they specialize in cruising Tahiti. The small ship is perfect for going into these smaller ports that the larger cruise lines uh, cannot even get into. And you will have a spectacular time if you're looking uh, for a vacation to Tahiti. Don't, uh, don't not think about going on a cruise. And if you do have questions about cruising the Pogo Gan, uh, please, my contact information is, is all down below. You can reach out to me there. You can also leave a comment on this video. And I didn't mention at the beginning, but if you did like this video, please, you know, please do like it and also subscribe to the channel to see more videos. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you like the videos that you're watching. Now, I did share earlier a video from my trip a couple years ago aboard the Paul Gauguin to French Polynesia. It was a, we did the seven day tour. If you would like to see this video, I will link it at the end. 
and hopefully you enjoy it. And in the meantime, for my, to my next videos, you can watch these.